New Caledonia has voted to stay French for now, with yesterday's independence referendum defeated. The French territory in the Pacific is now trying to reconcile the opposing sides after a narrower than expected outcome. Our Pacific correspondent Stefan Armbruster is in Numea. He joins me now live. Stefan, the French Prime Minister has flown in for talks. What can you tell us about that? Well, I'm here at the French High Commission in the capital, Numia. All the parties involved have been here talking with the Prime Minister about that referendum result that was much tighter than expected. And that follows on from the address to the nation that the President Emmanuel Macron made yesterday. We made Smoke rises from barricades blocking a main road into the capital, Numia after the French territory in the Pacific voted no in yesterday's independence referendum. A common form of protest here by the indigenous people called the Kanak, who have fought for years for independence. Des gens, pas que des jeunes, qui sont en dehors du circuit et qui n'ont pas pu voter, alors que tout le monde attendait effectivement ce jour-là pour aller euh, donner son avis. Amber is cut off by the disturbance. Gunshots, throwing rocks, um, just scaring everybody. This happens all the time. The divide in this community between the pro and anti-independence supporters runs deep. Villagers have blocked the road just outside Numia with burning tyres and vegetation. There's eight vehicles here, armoured vehicles, 135 police and a helicopter has been deployed as well. Police say this is a fairly predictable response to the outcome of the referendum and they hope that it ends peacefully without any arrests. Caledonians rejected nationhood with 56.4% voting against independence. A yes was not expected, but the result was much tighter than anyone predicted. Overnight, the French president addressed the nation, calling for unity. This vote was planned in the historic agreement 30 years ago, which allowed New Caledonia to regain civil peace through dialogue and mutual respect. This day was the date New Caledonians and the state set to overcome their divisions. I would like to point out a promise kept for almost 30 years. I would like to point out a promise kept for almost 30 years. This morning, French Prime Minister Edouard Philippe arrived in Numia to broker the next step in a peace process agreed 30 years ago. New Caledonia was colonised by the French in 1865. After a Kanak uprising in the late 1980s, France offered them three shots at independence, but pro-French leaders in New Caledonia say it's time to move on. Cinq années qui viennent, non pas pour faire des campagnes électorales chaque année et des référendums qui vont donner peu ou prou le même résultat, hein, même si on peut espérer euh, recueillir plus de fruits pour les indépendantistes. Two more referendums are constitutionally allowed for in 2020 and 2022. Kanak leaders say there can be no deviation. Comme certains de nos, comment dire, nos partenaires adversaires politiques là, c'est-à-dire c'est pas comme un, comment, euh, c'est pas un menu à la carte comme on va au restaurant puis on choisit ce qu'on a envie de manger. Non, non. On... Elsewhere in New Caledonia, there is calm. People are waiting news of what today's talks will bring. And the French Prime Minister is due back here at the High Commission very shortly to give an address to the country of New Caledonia about what the talks have revealed and to point to the future how they will be a united people with another referendum probably due in two years time. And we've also just heard back from the police. Apparently the situation just outside Numia has calmed down considerably but they're on high alert for an escalation possibly again overnight. Janice? Still plenty to watch. Thank you. That's Stefan Armbruster reporting live from Numia.